Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. Today I am doing what I got for the Sephora holiday sale savings event. So I went in bright and early on the first day. Today is the first day of the sale, just so that I can get everything that I'm gonna get to show you guys because I don't know why, but this sale hit different. I don't know if it's retail therapy or we're just really excited for the holidays. The anticipation and the excitement for the sale. I feel like everyone is super excited for this one. We're excited to finally kind of get back to a normal. Comment down below if you feel the same. You feel like you're super excited for the holidays this year. It just feels like, is this gonna be our first like normal Christmas? Like with our families? I don't know. Anyway, I went H-A-M ham. I went hamon in the store. I'm telling you, I was there at 10 a.m. when they opened. I strolled in and I think I took an hour and a half in Sephora. Like, I took my time and let me just show you the damage. You can tell the damage, one, by the weight and two, by the size of this bag. I mean, it's too heavy. <laughs> let me know if you want to see items that are already in my collection that I recommend to get because I didn't really get like hair care items items today but there are a ton of products that I recommend from Sephora that I just didn't really need to like repurchase because I already have them I already have backups or whatever I'm using them up right now let me know if you want to see my recommendations because this is a haul a lot of the items I have I've either swatched tried or already owned so a lot of these I'm gonna recommend to you but let me know if you want like a staples like a recommendations list of like my tried and true kind of like a favorites video I guess but specifically with items from Sephora because it would be kind of different than this video because this is a haul and that would just be like my favorites or like Sephora recommendations the tried and true the items that like I can recommend to you blindly I pretty much found everything that was on my list that was like in my cart in store love that for me again I went bright and early and the employees were all super helpful like checking the jars checking the bag checking the inventory for me because I really wanted to get everything that I could in store I think just like two items that I was looking for are like online only and one that they didn't have in stock but for the most part they had everything in stock and the good thing about this sale unlike the friends and family discount is that you can use this one as many times as you want as long as the sale is on so if I wanted to place an order online I still can use the same code so of course I'll have the code and the dates down below you do have to be either Beauty Insider or a Rouge member to take part in the sale so if you haven't signed up to be a Sephora member like you need to it's free I also got like my birthday gift in here which was really nice but yeah you can use the code in store and online and there are specific dates so you want to pay attention to the dates so you don't miss out on the sale let's get into it something that I always pick up during the holidays and especially during the sale because it just doesn't make sense not to pick this up is the Sephora favorites cologne sampler this one's the men's one it comes with this really cute black faux leather bag you get 12 samples well this one comes with 12 samples they have one for women this one's one for men so 12 samples of cologne this one has scents like Dolce Gabbana light blue they have some Valentino on there YSL Gucci guilty replica jazz club Prada Paco Rabanne Versace so you get like like this array of samples so in this bag comes the samples of each fragrance let's just say you're gifting this to someone you give this to them they get the bag they get the samples they get to essentially try each sample out so maybe every day they try a new sample whichever from the 12 that they liked the most there is a certificate inside of here it's literally just like a small coupon that they could bring to Sephora and get a full size of it for free so you're getting the full size bottle and it's not like the largest bottle so it's not like the 3.4 fluid ounce of each but it's like a 1.7 for most of these it's still a good deal let's just say the person you're gifting this to doesn't know what fragrance they want to wear or like what their next fragrance should be or they're looking for their signature fragrance whatever the case may be they're looking for a fragrance or you know that they like one of these in here so let's just say your boyfriend really loves Tom Ford ombre leather or your dad really loves George Armani aqua de Gio. let's just say they already love this this is the perfect deal because they're getting the bag getting the samples and then they can go pick up their favorite fragrance it's just an all over great deal and I don't think a lot of people know about this like they see this and they think they're paying $72 for samples and that's it no you have to redeem your full-size bottle I get this kind of set for myself too they do have like a woman's version
version they have a roller ball version which is cheaper so it's kind of like I think four or five samples and then it's like half the price of this and then you could redeem one of those for like a full-size roller ball I hope I explained that nicely because every time I like tell a client about this they're like what I didn't know about that I'm like yes girl this is the perfect Christmas gift either as an add-on or just as a Christmas gift like if you're doing like a secret Santa and you don't know what they like or like fragrance in general like it's hard to gift someone a fragrance people's fragrance style changes and sometimes you might not even know what you like or what smells good on you you may think that something is popular and so that's the one you have to use especially for men I feel like they just stick to like the same two fragrances like Sauvage and YSLY like we know we know already all that to say I actually got this for my boyfriend because he just ran out of Jazz Club by Mesa Margiela Replica and he loves Jazz Club. He gets so many compliments on it, literally everywhere we go. People compliment him on his fragrance, Jazz Club. It's very smoky, woodsy. We're going to redeem and get him a Jazz Club. But I also want him to try these other ones. Like, we've been eyeing Invictus for a minute, so I want to see how these wear on his skin. His skin is very finicky. Like, not all fragrances smell the same on him. Like, I'll spray something on a tester, spray it on his skin, and it's completely, completely different. Like, his skin pulls so differently as far as fragrances go so I think I'm gonna buy two or three more of these because I just think they're awesome Christmas gifts and I really love the bag that it comes with this little toiletry bag my boyfriend actually already has one of these because we've done this before and he uses it to travel he puts all of his little toiletries in there and it fits everything so I might just steal this one since he already has one and it's a great deal Okay, I didn't think they would have this in store. They actually had to check the back for this one I got this as a Christmas gift and it's from Voluspa. It's a 12-day advent calendar exclusive for Sephora So in this set are 12 mini candles from Voluspa and I think this is so cute because every day the person can like open it up and try something new and if you've ever smelled a Voluspa candle, they're all so so like well balanced they're not smoky and they actually like fill a room up i've had this veluspa candle in my kitchen slash living room for like a year now it's the really large gold one and it smells so good i don't even like to light it because the vessel is so gorgeous that's the thing too about veluspa candles is that once they're kind of burning it looks like the jar is like glowing because they're kind of like see-through but they're like these glass beautiful vessels like the actual jar of the candle is stunning so i'm really excited to give this as a christmas gift i think it's really really nice again a perfect secret santa gift i don't know if people are doing secret santa because like everyone's working remotely pretty much but if you're still doing secret santa maybe with your family this is a great gift or you know for the candle lover in your life or for yourself if you want to play around and see like different candles how they smell how they make you feel how they make your home kind of smell this is a perfect gift again for yourself or for anyone else that you know likes fragrance home fragrance so this is from Veluspa. this set costs 75 dollars but again you get the 20 percent off even though i'm the one that picked all of this out i feel like it's christmas for me right now just like picking everything out of the bag because i kind of blacked out in sephora i had my app open i always have my cart pulled up when i'm in there browsing and i always just have such a good time at sephora but next up i picked up the laneige lip sleeping mask this is in peppermint so i had picked up the pumpkin spice lip sleeping mask and i have to say i wasn't really loving it i loved the scent of it like when you just smell the jar it's like oh pumpkiny very fall but one it kind of felt like fake like it felt very synthetic like I have the light pink one of these it's like the sweet berry one and I love that it has a light pink tint on the lips it just looks so juicy and gorgeous like I love that one it's my favorite one and I love the sense of it it's very feminine and berry like but the pumpkin one just one it kind of like dried out the lips I don't know it just wasn't giving juicy and then the color of it, it was like a beige it's like a caramel I don't know I thought I would love it but it smelled too 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 fall like too spicy and it also kind of burned so I ended up getting the peppermint because I'm like you can't go wrong with like a minty fresh scent on the lips like I'm a fan of like a minty lip product because I personally love a minty fresh gum and a minty lip gloss or lip product so I went with peppermint which is a new I think limited edition fragrance but it is white so it's like clear it doesn't have that pink tint so this is the Laneige lip sleepy mask and I just kind of use this as like lip prep I don't really use it overnight only I just use it as a lip prep 
So before starting your makeup, the best thing to do is like apply something like this, something nice and thick and very hydrating. So by the time you finish your makeup and get to your lipstick, you can either like blot it or just leave it on and apply your lipstick or your lip gloss or whatever you want to use or just as is. And it kind of just like settles in. So when I'm doing a full face of makeup, this is always the first step. It's like the first prep step. This wasn't in my cart, but I ended up picking it up. It's the Iconic London Underglow Blurring Primer. I'm not a fan of primers. I haven't used primers in a really long time I always get questions like can you recommend me some primers and my answer is always like not really because I don't really use primer especially not on myself one I have sensitive skin and two a lot of primers either pill up they get weird I was eyeing the new Huda Beauty one the glow-ish jam primer I tried it on today though I was just like doesn't really feel like it's gonna do much like if I'm gonna use a primer it either has to really do the pore minimizing or give me a glow and I prefer the glow because the pore minimizing I do that with powder I fix that with a powder puff and also with powder but I do feel like we all need more glow so even if you have oily skin and you're gonna powder the trick to having like a flawless base is for your skin to be very hydrated and very very well prepped so I ended up going with the iconic underglow blurring primer because I swatched it in person and I loved the consistency it just felt really 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 hydrating it kind of just smells like makeup I guess I like the feeling of this it doesn't have like shimmer in it also which I like because I know a lot of people like using like the Charlotte Tilbury as a primer the Hollywood Flawless filter but this is giving you a glow without being shimmery because if you do have larger pores and you put shimmer on them it can emphasize them so if you have dry skin but large pores or texture you want a glow that doesn't emphasize it so this seems like the perfect product for that and that's kind of something that I struggle with like I don't want to irritate my skin with glitter and I don't I want to emphasize texture but I still want a glowy base before my foundation so this is the underglow I've never actually like tried it on my face but I will the next time I do my makeup just leaves a gorgeous subtle soft focus semi satin finish infused with the blue light protection interesting vitamin C and subtle pearls for a complexion that feels quenched and protected the vitamin C does scare me a little because I am very sensitive to vitamin C on my skin but I will give it a try a couple times see if it breaks me out see if it does anything for my base and I will let you know because again I'm very 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 hard on primers most of the times we just don't need them it's just an extra step and an extra layer that we don't really need if you moisturize really well you prep your skin you've toned you've cleansed you've moisturized you don't really need primer but the primer that I do love and I use on pretty much all of my clients is the milk makeup hydro grip I was gonna get the set they have the hydro grip primer and the setting spray from milk but I didn't get it because I don't really need it right now I have a hydro grip already and I'm just like I'm pretty full on it like I just opened it but it is a good set and it comes in a really cute bag so if you've been meaning to try the hydro grip from milk it's an amazing primer that really helps your foundation adhere to your face like if you want your makeup to last all day and all night and you're not really like a setting spray kind of person the milk makeup hydro grip really does a job it leaves your face kind of tacky you wait for it to kind of dry and then you put your foundation on top and it's just like glue like it sticks to your face but because my skin is sensitive I personally do not use it too much on myself unless it's like a super special occasion because I just I'm always scared of breaking out but I do love 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 it on my clients so if you've watched any of my videos you know that my trick to a poreless flawless airbrushed finish is the beauty blender power pocket puff this is the first time you're ever watching me. This is what I swear by. I know everyone raves about the Amazon Puffs and they're awesome, but this is just that times 10. Like you don't have to throw this out after every use. The Amazon ones are kind of like a one-time use and you throw them out, which I think is kind of wasteful because they aren't really like durable. This baby is durable and it is double-ended. I always give these to my brides because this thing is like magic. So it looks like this on one end. It's this like velour on one end and then like a sponge on the other. So what I do with this, I use it to bake the face and the under eyes. So after foundation, after concealer, cream contour, cream blush, whatever you want to do. Even if you're not even doing cream blush, cream bronzer. Let's just say after your concealer. You want to take this, dip it into some loose powder, and set with this. Like really press it in almost so that there's nothing there. So kind of baking but kind of like pressing the powder in 
all over the face obviously less product everywhere else and more concentrated under your eyes because you don't want to crease and if you want your makeup to last all day this is the trick so you use it to set your face so forget a brush for setting your face use this the other use that you can get out of this because I'm telling you for $15 like you're getting magic you put this in your bag you're going out you're out and about you're sweating you're at the club you're sweating instead of adding more and more powder with a brush that can tend to look dry or like move things around boom you take this with some pressed powder you blot with it let's just say you don't have a powder with you i feel like i'm a spokesperson for this let's just say you don't have a powder with you you just have this you can use this to soak anything up a friend of mine had a drink spilled on her by accident the drink spilled on her and she was just like in shock it was by accident and i was like don't worry girl i got you i took out my beauty blender power pocket puff i soaked it up first then i used the other end with some powder just to like touch it up a little you couldn't even tell that that happened if you haven't added to cart after that story honestly sis i don't know what to tell you like this is uh, i always get questions on how i clean this sponge and i clean it just like i clean my beauty blenders just how i clean my brushes i use the dr bronner's tea tree oil cast out soap put some soap on there i clean it i dry it regularly or i use the beauty blender solid cleanser i get the unscented one i actually just picked up another one because i love this i know a lot of people use zote zote soap since it is a laundry detergent technically i feel a little bit weird using it on my beauty blenders just because my skin is sensitive and i don't want like any residue of like laundry detergent on my sponges i don't know they work really well and i used to use that and if i'm in a pinch or i have so many to clean i will use that i'm telling you the zolt soap will get everything out very very quickly like almost too quickly the zolt soap is like one to three dollars the reason why i'm always repurchasing this though is because yes it is more expensive but it's unscented and it's formulated to clean sponges so i know it's not like with these harsh chemicals like the zolt soap i don't know i just feel weird about using it especially because of my skin like i've gotten it to a really good place i don't want to break it out because of like a cleaning product for my sponges but if you use a zolt soap and it doesn't do anything for you like as far as irritation keep going use it to clean your beauty blender power pocket puff but me personally i use this i've never used the liquid from beauty blender but i always just get the solid I feel more comfortable using this because i know it's formulated for beauty blenders but you could also use it for your brushes but anyway that's my spiel about the beauty blender power pocket puff i feel like i'm a broken record talking about this but it's for a good reason i need you guys to trust me on this one next up i got this bomb deal this is the peter thomas roth full-size iconic hydro gel patches three piece set so this is a hundred and ninety five dollar value pretty much two hundred dollar value and you get it for seventy eight dollars you get three full sizes of their eye patches i love using under eye patches on my clients but i was getting tired of buying like the individually wrapped ones because they're expensive like i love the wonder beauty ones the tart ones the one size beauty ones like i love those the tatcha like there's so many great under eye patches but they get really expensive i prefer getting something that has a bunch so each of these has 90 and you do get a spatula so it's sanitary to you know take them out i love using the 24 karat gold one on my clients because it just makes them feel extra special you know it's like a gold patch very bougie but also because they actually work they really hydrate and like kind of wake you up like whenever i put these on my clients especially if it's an early morning appointment they just feel so like refreshed there's nothing like an under eye patch feeling especially when you're just tired you're feeling a little puffy like this really helps again i've never tried the middle one but i have tried the water drench and the 24 karat gold a lot of people feel like these are gimmicky but i definitely think they work i know people have seen like dramatic results if you use them consistently but i really like them too for their like immediate instant results they really hydrate and brighten and just like lift that area and make it look more glowy and hydrated so 78 dollars but again you get the 20 percent off right now so couldn't really pass this deal up because 200 dollars versus like 70 yes give it to me because i ran out of all my patches so i'm gonna be using these for myself as well i have to kind of play around with it because again my under eye is very very sensitive i tend to get a lot of like eczema like right here underneath so i will slowly introduce one of these and test it out and see which one i can use but on my clients again i love using them it's a really nice little treat for them while they're getting their makeup done like i'll do the eyeshadow and keep the eye patches on because i do eyes first and then complexion after these two were not in the plan they were not in my cart but like i said i kind of blacked out and i picked up two new fragrances these weren't like completely blind buys because i've smelled them before and i've been eyeing them but i wasn't really planning on purchasing any new perfumes i feel like i owe it to you guys to always like know about the new new and i do enjoy these fragrances like every time i go into the floor and i smell them i'm like i really really like that so i said you know what 
but work hard, play hard, let's do it. 20% off, let's just do it. So I got the Dior J'adore Parfum. It's the one that's alcohol free that I talked about in my last video, in the Dior video. I mentioned that I really like this one, so here we are. I didn't get the biggest bottle or the smallest. I got the middle one. It's the 1.7 fluid ounce and it looks like this. I used to like the original J'adore, but I don't wear that anymore. Like it's just a little too strong for me. It's not really my style anymore, but this one, hmm. Are you ready for this mist? It's alcohol free, which makes it so unique. J'adore the closest to flowers, an exclusive and innovative alcohol free Dior formula, a fragrance application that is intense with a natural feel, a concentrate of flowers and water, spray in a generous mist. You don't gotta tell me twice to be generous because I am very generous with my perfume. I like this so much better than the original J'adore. They describe it as a warm floral. I would describe it as a clean warm floral. So the keynotes are radiant jasmine, velvety magnolia, and fresh neroli. That neroli is very, very, very clean. And then it has jasmine and then it has magnolia. It's just so clean and so fresh, but still very, very feminine. You know I love me a clean scent. I'm not typically a floral fragrance lover. I don't really like like rose fragrances. I don't like Turkish rose too much. Like I'm just not into a rose scent, even though my name is Rose. I'm not a fan. They just don't wear well on me they don't mix with my skin and my chemistry but this one is like a fresh bouquet with that clean laundry kind of scent mixed in with that like shampoo soapy scent it's just very 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 well balanced and very soft and the fact that it doesn't have alcohol is perfect for people who are sensitive to fragrances you can use this on your body or on your hair because it doesn't have alcohol and I just love the bottle I just couldn't stop smelling my wrist so while I was shopping I had it on and I had both of these on one on each wrist and I I was like I can't choose between the two I ended up getting the other one too this is commodity gold they brought back commodity to Sephora which makes me so happy I've never owned a commodity fragrance but I remember when they had commodity a few years ago in Sephora I remember wanting gold but they kind of like relaunched them at Sephora and they look different I feel like the commodity gold bottle before had gold on it but now it's like this black like really cool packaging so it says gold a warm and lustrous material to be desired rich enough to bathe in this decadent vanilla is an intoxicating journey to one's innermost desires thoughts and impulses okay <laughs> like that's intense you know when that one lash extension is just like in the middle it's like are you staying or are you going i just had to like pull it out because it was just like dangling on my eye bothering me but anywho commodity gold the spray isn't as nice as dior it's a regular spray I feel like all perfumes should now come with like a nice mist. Kind of reminds me of the Byredo fragrances like Mojave Ghost or Gypsy Water, that like vanilla library musky scent. So it's a warm and spicy scent. They classify as a warm and sweet gourmand. The key notes are molten amber, vanilla, and creamy musk. Unisex, so it can be loved by both men and women. This rich concoction of molten amber and Nubian musk is indulgent enough to bathe in. That's an expensive bath. Pure vanilla cultivated on the Bourbon Island of Madagascar is widely known as the highest quality vanilla in the world. So it uses Madagascar bourbon vanilla absolute. Very fancy. The beans and orchid pods are carefully hand selected prior to extraction. Oh my gosh. Strong, sleek, and polished. Yes. I can definitely see this on men and women. It's just so sensual. That amber and that vanilla is just, it's giving. I love this. I feel like a lot of people would really, really love this. So if you're into a warm scent, but you don't want something too vanilla or like too musky, but you like a little bit of both, like sweet and musky, try this. You want to smell expensive, but you don't want to smell like you're doing too much. Commodity gold. Really, really nice. Very well blended. I do kind of miss the old packaging though, not gonna lie. I love this, the black on black, but I feel like they should have made this one gold. I mean, obviously it's called gold, but commodity gold. So those are the two fragrances that I picked up. I feel like so many people are gonna jump on this one. This is a Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray Set. So it comes with two of the minis of the setting spray by Charlotte Tilbury, which I feel like has just gone so viral for good reason. It's an amazing setting spray. I got these to travel with. This would be such such a cute set if like you and your bestie love this one or you want to give it to like your sister or something and you keep 
one or you want one for like your vanity and one for travel whatever the case may be this is an awesome setting spray it really does work this one definitely makes your makeup last longer but it also kind of like mends all your powders together so that it doesn't look dry or cakey so it doesn't give you like a super dewy finish but it doesn't also keep you matte it just kind of gives you like that skin like flawless finish which looks a little bit lived in you know when you put on your makeup but like an hour passes by and you have like a little bit of like your glow coming through and it looks more skin like this gives you that effect or like you have your makeup on and then you take a like a body shower and your skin just looks so much better after from like the steam or I know you know when you take a nap in your makeup like on your back and you wake up and you just feel refreshed I don't know how to explain that but that's kind of what this does it just like refreshes your face and doesn't give you that like tight like powdery feeling it just kind of feels like a little lived in I didn't just pick this up but this is another really great set it's the one size beauty glam on and lock in until dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray so you get two of these and this is a great time to pick this set up too if you've never tried this or if you've tried it and you love it you get two of them it literally feels like hairspray on the face it's like strong. It's like an aerosol. It's not like a regular like watery spray. It's pretty pretty intense. You can feel it working. Like you can feel the tightness. And it's a mattifying one. So if you want something that's going to really help you not get oily throughout the night, if you're going out like somewhere where it's gonna be hot, you're gonna be sweating, you're gonna be all day, like a daytime wedding, and you need it to like stay on on, like glue, I would say. The one size beauty. If you want something more for like that skin dewy finish but still want your makeup to last the charlotte tilbury so really just depends on what you're looking for this one does come in a mini as well if you want to try it out but i love both i picked up two nars foundations for my makeup artist kit this is the natural radiant longwear foundation this is what i use on my clients i had to pick it up in two shades because i'm running very low on these and i have this fear of like running low of something and then they never make it again or like this was out of stock for some reason like this foundation and almost every color was out of stock for a minute like I almost thought NARS was discontinuing this foundation but they're back in stock so I picked these up I cannot see myself without this foundation in my kit like this is my favorite foundation in my kit pretty much for all skin types it's so long wearing it photographs beautifully looks like skin doesn't look cakey the colors are amazing so my favorite shades out of the NARS because I feel like they're the most perfect matches for people's skin is Punjab, Stromboli, I also love this one Barcelona and then I love Tahoe which is a deeper color but I already have that one so I just picked up these two because I'm running really low. Punjab and Stromboli are definitely more on the yellow side. Barcelona is more of like a true kind of like tan. It almost has like a little bit more of like a peachy but not too much. I just love that NARS has like the perfect yellow undertones. I also love Gobi which is very light but still has that yellow undertone no pinky or red tones so love me a NARS foundation again I was so scared because I thought they were discontinuing this because it was out of stock for a minute like who are we without this one like this is a staple in a makeup artist kit I don't use it on myself I honestly wish so badly that I could use NARS foundations on myself but they break me out and I just hate that for me because nothing looks better I feel like than this I love all NARS foundations I love the matte formula I love this one and I love the sheer glow but my favorite out of the three is this one this is just like the one it's very universal I feel like I can just make it work for anyone dry oily any age like it's just kind of like a universal foundation and it's a staple for me and if I could wear it I would be so happy because it just photographs beautifully and lasts really really long on the skin I picked up two more of the hourglass phantom volumizing glossy balms so I actually have one of these on right now I have on the color trace it's the only thing that I whipped out of the bag to try I'm gonna to put some more on so you guys can see it I typically do something that's a little lighter especially in the center but I wanted something different today I wanted to switch up the lip and do something a little more fall and this is so shiny so I don't have a lip gloss on and you can see that I just reapplied it and it's like this minty glossy shiny beautiful finish so it's pigment plus gloss they are a little pricey but you're getting like a two-in-one product you're getting the color and you're getting the shine it says it's volumizing so I don't know if it's supposed to be plumping but I feel like anything that's glossy gives an illusion of a plump but it is minty so I love that as well and I also picked up the color slip and you do twist 
twist it up. The Tarte one is similar to this, the Maracuja, but it's like a button that you press. I love that formula too. So it's very, very similar. This is kind of like a high-end version of the Tarte one. The only downside to these is they can get a little bit messy, like on the borders. You kind of want to like wipe them after every use because they are so like balmy and like slippery, I guess, and shiny. So we have Trace and Slip really pretty i feel like the two shades that i picked up are perfect for fall it's kind of like your lips but better but with like a little extra a little extra you know and i love the formula the only thing about glossy lips and the wind it can really get messy real quick like i always have lip gloss on my sunglasses because what happens is my hair gets stuck to my gloss and then it gets stuck to my glasses like with the wind so i always have to remember to put my gloss on when i arrive to my destination but i never learned my lesson and i always want to have a glossy lip like everywhere i go like even when i'm not wearing makeup i want to put on like a glossy clear balm and i never learned my lesson i always have lip gloss either on my face or on my sunglasses but i don't care i'm a glossy girl through and through i picked up two soft pop blush Sticks from makeup by Mario these have been out of stock for like forever both in store and online so I finally saw this one and I've been eyeing it it's a super duper bright color and it can be very very intimidating and scary so this is the color raspberry looks like this one end has a brush which I do not use and I don't really like but the formula on these cream blushes amazing his cream contours awesome pretty much all of his products i love like i can recommend his line because i really haven't found products that i don't like from him so look at this bright blush it's called raspberry and when you swatch it it's also very very bright but i really like that i don't have anything like this in my collection these are a little i would say sticky so you do want to work with it the right way like you want to make sure you blend it out either with your fingers a sponge or the right brush but i love that they give you a glow but you can sheer it out so when you first apply it it's like what is that like so bright but if you diffuse it which you should <laughs> It definitely gives you just like that flushed pink look. So don't be scared of like that initial crazy color because it's just gonna give you like a baby doll kind of like flushed raspberry cheek, which I like. A trick to use this if you're really scared of something like this, like colors like this or cream products in general, is to not apply it directly onto your face like this, but to take a brush and brush it in first, take some off onto your hand and then apply. This way you're not getting so much like concentrated product, which can make it hard to blend. You can swipe and then blend, but the thing with that is that it leaves more room for streakiness. So let's just say you swipe, swipe, by the time you get your brush or your sponge and then you start blending maybe one cheek will be fine but the other one is already kind of drying and settling in and then it'll be hard to blend and you'll get like that streak so the best way is to either apply it to the back of your hand and then get the product from your hand or directly from the sponge onto the product or your brush onto the product i also got the blush stick in soft coral looks like this that initial swatch is very, very intimidating. You're like, okay, Rose. But once you blend it out, you can see it's way more sheer. But again, it's giving you that like life. You can't really see it on camera, but in person I can see like this like sheen that it has to it. No glitter at all. It's a cream product, so it's going to make your skin look like skin. And I love adding a cream blush even on top of powder to bring back the life. Today for blush, I have on the Patrick Ta. Forgot which color I used, but it's one of the duos, the cream and powder. I have both on. I want to say the color that I have on is She's a Doll. But either way, I love all of the Patrick Ta duos goes like highly 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 recommend the blushes from patrick ta but again i love the makeup by mario creams you just want to be patient when you're using them and not worry if you get like scared with that first like initial swatch i promise you they look really really good and natural on the skin if you blend them out next i picked up this primer from milk makeup i just got the mini because Again, I told you I'm not really into primer, but one of my friends, her name is Columbia, we work weddings a lot together. We're always working as makeup artists side by side, and I saw her use this on a client, and I was like, her skin looks amazing. What primer did you use? She was like, oh, the Milk Makeup one, and I was like, boom, add to cart, but I just got the mini because I want to try it out. It's a mattifying primer. It says it's a 90% natural water cream primer that locks on makeup, blurs pores, and controls shine, infused with niacinamide to help minimize the appearance of pores over time so it's supposed to like be like skincare i guess too which is kind of cool but i just got this for like my really oily clients
ingredients. This is another mini. This is from Tom Ford. It's the Soleil Blanc Shimmering Body Oil. So I already have this and I'm running so low on it. I'm really picky with body glow, especially well on myself and on my clients. I don't like anything with too much of a color because it tends to like come off on the clothes. Like I love the Sol de Janeiro ones, but you do have to kind of be careful with them, especially with the more bronzy ones. Where I feel like with this one, it's just like shine plus glitter. Like you're not really getting any color, but it also smells amazing. So it smells like the Soleil Blanc perfume by Tom Ford, which literally smells like vacation in a bottle. So I just got the mini one to travel with like when I do destination weddings or for just like pretty much traveling or to put in my kit. So I just thought it was so cute and I really love this product. I'll go ahead and spray some so you guys can see. It's a two-in-one product. So you're getting the glow and you're getting the shimmer but you're also getting this beautiful scent that smells like a tropical vacation. It literally smells like you're having an Aperol spritz at a resort, on vacation with no worries. Like, it just smells delicious. So I picked up the mini because I have the full size, but I figured the mini would be better for traveling. So picking that up. I picked up two lip liners from Anastasia. One is a repurchase, which is Cool Brown. I've talked about Cool Brown a couple times already, so I feel like I don't really need to go too in depth about this one but it's one of my favorite deeper brown lip liners if you love cork by mac if you love ColourPop bff 2 or 3 you are gonna love anastasio cool brown it's just like the perfect brownie lip liner and no it's not the Hailey bieber brown lip liner okay we've been on the brown lip liner game all right you know i love me a good brown lip liner anywhere caffeine is my ultimate favorite like your lips but better so what i like to do is anywhere caffeine lip liner by makeup forever like that's a staple for me a must then the lipstick or lip gloss whatever i want to do and then for more definition cool brown i do have a little bit of cool brown on right now this lip liner i like barely touched my lips with it because it is a deep brown and sometimes I'll use it very lightly sometimes I'll go in for like that super brown lip liner look but I love this it's a must-have if you love foxy brown from Charlotte Silbury that's another really nice brown true brown lip liner but I also picked it up in deep taupe I don't really know why I had it in my cart I must have seen someone wear this one but pretty much all of the Anastasia lip liners are amazing this one looks more like anywhere caffeine I don't know why I would swatch it right there, but it has more of like this like purple grayish undertone where cool brown is like a true brown, like a brownie brown. But the deep taupe is really nice too. It looks more like a contour for your lips. So we shall see. I've never tried the deep taupe one, but I do love cool brown and I love the formula on the Anastasia lip liners. You guys know I love a wooden lip liner. I'm not too crazy about a retractable. I prefer wood because I feel like you can sharpen them really well and get like a really nice point to them. So pick those two up. I got this little mini from Tower 28. It's the SOS Daily Rescue Facial Spray. Uh, a lot of people love this for taking away redness. If you have really sensitive skin, it kind of smells a little bit like bleach, but it really does clear up the skin. If you're having like a lot of little bumps and little breakouts, and you just need like a refresh on your skin. Like a lot of people swear by this. It says National Eczema Association Accepted. So it's really safe to use if you have really sensitive skin. It's not going to like cause more breakouts it's going to kind of make your skin feel calm i got the mini to put by my vanity to kind of spray on before i do my makeup kind of to prevent any like irritations or reactions from products that i'm using so i picked that up i picked up this set from house of lashes this is the stuck on you lash adhesive set i love that it comes like this it's pretty much just two glues the white and the black house of lashes glue this is what i use in my kit these are the glues that i swear by for my clients you got the dark and you get the clear i use both just depending on the look i will either use the clear or the black i love these they really really hold the lashes they're really strong and i feel like for your kit you want to make sure you have a really good glue i use the duo on myself because i'm sensitive to lash glues and i do carry that just in case i do get a client that is also sensitive but if my client does not have like any allergies to adhesives then the house of lashes is the way to go because it ensures that the lash is going to stay on i mean this stuff 
stuff is no joke very very strong but it doesn't really cause reactions unless again you're allergic like myself but if you're looking for a really strong eyelash adhesive that is the way to go and that one is a little set and you do save some money the value is 18 dollars and you buy it for 14 plus 20 percent off you're saving a couple bucks i got the laneige cream skin mist this is for radiant hydration it's an even spray with a fine mist it says take it to go refresh skin with glowing hydration for up to 24 hours and it has white leaf tea water and it's for normal to dry skin so I already used the Laneige cream skin toner I actually used it on myself today and I really really liked it before makeup I use it on my clients and I never use it on myself and I'm like why not because it's pretty much like a moisturizer and a toner in one it really hydrates the skin but doesn't aggravate it it's good for sensitive skin so if your client has dry patches I don't suggest going in with like an oil balancing toner it's going to aggravate their skin and dry it out more but you want to use something that's hydrating so they have this in a toner form and then they have the mist I love the mist on that and it's really going to just hydrate the skin doesn't have a fragrance toner is really gentle on the skin so I'm pretty sure this is the same formula just in a mist version I love the sprayer on it I love that it's nice and fine and even and I love how hydrating this is without being like oily it really just like balances the skin and gives you hydration without like feeling greasy it makes the face kind of feel plump so if you're someone that suffers with dry skin or you feel like your makeup always looks dry try using a hydrating toner before your makeup as opposed to something that's like with alcohol or like stripping your skin and making it even drier I picked up these Sephora lashes which was kind of random I've used these on a client before and I remember liking them because they kind of gave that lash extension look because they're really curly and wispy and not too much because a lot of my clients don't really like a full lash even though I personally do I love a full lash a lot of my clients don't so something like this is really perfect for someone that still wants a lash but doesn't want too much I love how curled they are they're like a wispy very curly lash they're not really full or dramatic because they do have some spacing in between and these are in the style fringe I wanted to pick up Beverly Drive by Lily Lashes I wanted to pick up like three of them because they're my favorite lashes for my clients but they were out of stock so I'm going to check another Sephora in store probably this weekend and if not I'll just order them online because they're my absolute favorite for the girlies that do want something dramatic especially my brides like I always try to convince my brides to just go with the fuller lash and just to trust me on it because those pictures with the lash looking down it's a vibe I haven't purchased a single eyeshadow in so long this is the urban decay moon dust sparkly eyeshadow this was all over tiktok trending and i fell for it because it just looked like the perfect glitter i don't know why but i love the clear packaging so much but this is in the color space cowboy and when you swatch it it doesn't feel like a shadow and that's because it's a glitter shadow just glitter do you see the sparkles? I feel like it's hard to show on camera. Like in this lighting, it just looks so beautiful in person. You can use this as like an eyeshadow topper. So let's say you have an eyeshadow that has shimmer. And you put it on, but you feel like it's not sparkly enough. You can go ahead and apply this right on top. But the way that I want to use this is just alone. Like on the brow bone, in the inner corner, on the lid. Like just a shimmer on the eye. I feel like that looks so pretty and so like delicate and like barely there. But like if you pay attention, you can see it. But like this with some flash on. Like if you take a video with this with flash, like gorgeous. I plan to use this for my birthday glam because I want to do like sparkles and just do the most so space cowboy I've seen so many bomb videos of it It was like trending on tiktok and I needed it I'm like a sparkle girl so got that I also picked up a backup of my brow pencil this is the benefit precisely my brow pencil 4.5 I have it on right now who would have thought who would have thought that miss Anastasia medium brown because that was like the only pencil that would ever touch my face for years I still love her we're still an Anastasia medium brown girl it really just depends on my mood if I want to do like a full coverage full beats I will go with the benefit because it just really gives you like the most precise sharp batty brow but for like a no makeup makeup look I have to use Anastasia like this will be a little too strong because the thing about this is that if you're heavy-handed like I am especially with brow pencils for some reason 
like it's so hard for me to get like a light feathery stroke but this will give you like a brow so if you don't want something too intense definitely get this in a lighter shade I still kept my brows kind of light today like I tried to be as light handed as possible because this shade 4.5 can get very dark very quickly especially on me with my black hair so I still try to be as light handed as possible I brush it out a ton and I use the got to be brow gel today from Amazon it's kind of like the hair glue but for your brows and for your edges that's what I have on my brows today and I love the 4.5 shade because it's a neutral brown it can get dark but if you do have that light hand it's the perfect neutral brown there's no red to it there's no orange tints to it because the thing about most brow pencils is when you go in the Sun you'll see like they look too red or too orange or too purple like they have like a weird undertone even my medium brown is not as neutral as this so 4.5 is like a go-to shade for me and a lot of makeup artists use that shade in their makeup kit because it's just like a universal color last but not least I got the makeup by Mario plumping lip serum the moisture glow in a new shade that he just came out with it's called nude glow I wasn't really able to swatch this in person because the tester was a goner like I don't know what monsters went and swatched this but the thing about this product is that it can get very messy because it is so like creamy so I can see why the tester was just like demolished but I saw the swatches online on the Sephora website and it looked like the perfect shade that I love that like neutral nudie shade it's gonna give you like a little bit of a nude tint but not much which I like especially for no makeup makeup days but with this formula you are getting high shine and moisture so especially for the winter like you want to have color like a little nude on your lips but you don't want to wear lipstick because it can like dry your lips out even more or you're not wearing like a full face of makeup this is perfect it's kind of like a lip balm it's kind of like the hourglass product but this one has less pigment kind of like the tart one but again with less pigment but you are getting some pigment so it's not just like a lip balm on your lips you're getting shine but you're getting a little color so they have a ton of different shades but of course I went with the nude one I did also get my birthday gifts my birthday is November 1st the day after Halloween so it's on Tuesday it was like an option of three I got the Tatcha one because I've been wanting to try the dewy skin cream again I'm scared to buy it because I don't know if it'll break me out I do remember using the rice wash and loving it but I kind of then switched all of my skincare and I haven't had this in a while so this is just kind of like a little mini set and it would be really cute to throw it in like my little travel bag but you get the rice wash and then you also get the dewy skin cream which I'm gonna put by my vanity because I want to try it out I know it's very hydrating I'm just always really weary of getting contact dermatitis or those little bumps under the skin with certain ingredients I tend to get that especially from skincare so that's everything that I got there should be no business that my receipt is that long but like I said, your girl went a little ham in the store. But honestly, all of these products I'm really happy with. I feel like I didn't get anything that I wouldn't love. I mean, obviously some items I still have to try out. But for the most part, I've done my research on these products or they were repurchases or gifts. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me feel like a kid on Christmas. Go through all the things that I got for the Sephora sale. Let me know if you're going to pick up any of the items that I mentioned. And if you'd like me to do the Sephora favorites, like products that are like... Like my tried and true I can recommend to anyone blindly kind of like go through all the lists like complexion perfume like what I recommend some of these products would make that list but let me know if you want a separate video for that that concludes this video don't forget to check out the description bar I will have everything linked down below it does help me out when you guys use my links they are affiliate links and they help keep these hauls on and popping alive so I appreciate you if you do use any of my links whether they're on Instagram or here on YouTube I definitely definitely appreciate you and I see you again I'll have the code and the details down below happy shopping I want to know what you guys are getting message me on Instagram or leave me a comment here on YouTube I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one bye guys